from the Zane Scholars Arena, it's time for the Inter-University Battle of Brains. This is the 2009 Zane Africa Challenge. And now, here's the man with the question, Walimu John Sibiot Kumu. Hello and welcome to the Zane Africa Challenge 2009, Africa's International Inter-University Question and Answer Championship. This year, 32 teams have earned the right to compete through their national qualifying tournaments. They'll be answering questions on current affairs, science, sports, literature, history, geography, pop culture and indeed more besides. This season, we welcome teams from West Africa. So our players have come from Ghana, Kenya, Malawi, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Tanzania, Uganda, and Zambia. That makes eight. They're taking part in a 31-game knockout tournament. That is win and stay, lose and leave, but never empty-handed. Time now for the introductions. In this Round one game, entering from my right is the Zane Scholars team from the University of Malawi. Jacob Pili, second year, mechanical engineering, Katabi. Kuyani Manikumbo, second year law, Karonga. Kuyan Chakaza, third year classics, Kasungu. From my left is the Zane Scholars team from the University of Ibadan, Nigeria. Olá, Olá, A very warm welcome to both our teams. This year, you and your universities will share over one million US dollars in individual, institutional, and travel grants. The outright winners will take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy plus 5,000 US dollars each, plus 50,000 US dollars for their university, all courtesy of Zane. <laughs> and if you're watching at home, we won't leave you out of the action because you too can play and win the Zane game. A review of the rules. There'll be three rounds of face-off and bonus questions, followed by the 60-second speed round that is the ultimate challenge. Each of you will take up the center position to answer face-off questions on your own without conferring. If you answer a face-off correctly for 10 points, your whole team can help you answer the bonus question for 20 points. First in the center position for the University of Malawi is Jacob. Yes. Where were you born? Katape. Katape? Yeah. Does that place have anything to recommend itself in yeah. Malawi? Yeah. It's the home of Otto Nchiro, the founder of Malawi Congo Spad, and later he gave it to Dr. Hastings Kamuzu Banda, the first president of Malawi. Could you tell us something about the first person that you talked about, Otto Nchiro? Yeah. Otto Nchiro was a, a Tonga by tribe, which is found in the northern region of Malawi. Right. Okay, we'll go back to Tolu, who is first up for the face-offs for the University of Ibadan. Now, for me, sadly, Nigeria is just a huge country, and uh, I wish I knew more, but you might tell me something about Nigeria's people, particularly about where you come from. Nigeria's people are probably the most pleasant people you'd ever meet, um, very industrious, um, very driven, extremely driven, and they make a difference everywhere they go. It's great to be around Nigerians, I can assure you. Right, well, it's time to take the Zane Africa Challenge. Have a look at our first four categories, and they are Cat's Cradle, Geometry 101, Hot Topics Africa, Land and Sea Borders. Tolu, choice of category, please. Cat's Cradle. It is. Aslan, the hero of the Chronicles of Narnia stories, is which type of big cat? Ibadan? Um, lion. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, according to Nine. ancient tradition, cats have how many lives? Nine. Correct. Curiosity. Two, which five-syllable word completes the adage, blank kill the cat? Curiosity. That is correct. For 20 points, bringing your total to 30. Tolu, choice of category, please. Hot Topics Africa. It is. Most Burundians who fled to this nation had returned home by the end of 2008. Name this eastern neighbor. 
Ibadan? Rwanda. No, I'm turning it over to Malawi. DRC. No, the correct answer is Tanzania. Tolu, choice of category, please. Cat's cradle. Cats it is. The cat-headed goddess Bastet was also known as the Eye of Ra in which ancient country? Ibadan? Egypt. Egypt is correct for 20 bonus points. Feline, leonine, ovine. Which word does not refer to a member of the biological family of cats? Ovine. Ovine is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 60. Tolu, choice of category, please. Land and sea borders. It is. Belgium, Poland, Serbia, which became landlocked in 2006 when Montenegro became independent. <coughs> University of Malawi. Serbia. Is correct for 20 bonus points. Which Middle Eastern countries landlocked expect for a 25-kilometer coastline on the Gulf of Aqaba leading into the Red Sea? Saudi Arabia. No, the correct answer is Jordan. Jacob, choice of category, please. Jimmy, draw one one. It is. A quadrilateral has how many sides? <coughs> Ibad? Four sides. It's correct. For ten points apiece, two types of quadrilateral have all four sides of equal length. Which type one has four right angles? Square. Square. It's correct. And two does not have all angles equal. Parallelogram. No, I'm afraid the correct answer is rhombuses. Ten points, bringing your total to 80 Ibadan against Malawi's ten. Tolu, choice of category, please. Cat squiddle. It is. In the story of Alice in Wonderland, which type of cat could vanish, leaving only its grin? <coughs> University of Malawi. Bobcat. No, I'm turning it over to Ibadan. Cheshire Cat. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Complete these lines of William Blake's poem, The Tiger. Tiger, tiger, something bright in the something of the night. Burn in. It's correct. Starry. No, forests. 10 points, though. 100 for Ibadan. Malawi, choice of category, please. Tell me to one one. It is. What is the area of a rectangle with length 6 and height 4? Ibadan? 24. That is correct for 20 bonus points. 10 points apiece. What is the area of 1, a triangle with base 6 and height 4? 12. That is correct. 2, a square with a side length of 4? 16. That is correct. Bringing your total to 130. Tolu, choice of category, please. Cats griddle. Cats it is. Lynx, Leopardus, Panthera. Lions belong to which biological genus? Ibadan. Panthera. That is correct for 20 bonus points. 10 points apiece. Jaguar, leopard, ocelot, cougar. Which two also belong in the panthera genus with lions? Cougar and jaguar. And leopard. 10 points though, bringing your total to 150. Tolu, choice of category, please. Hot Topics Africa. It is. The UN's largest peacekeeping force of 17,500 troops was redeployed in late 2008 in the east of which large African country? <laughs> Malawi? DRC. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. The Economist projects only three nations will have their GDP rise by at least 8.5% in 2009. Which two are coastal African nations bordering the DRC? Angola and Namibia. Your answer, please. Angola gentlemen. and Namibia. Angola and the Republic of Congo or Congo Brazzaville. 10 points, bringing your total to 30. End of round one. The score stands at 30 points for Malawi and 150 for Ibadan. <laughs> now, whenever a team makes its first appearance on the Zane Africa Challenge, we think our viewers right across the continent should find out something about its university. So to begin with, here's a profile of the University of Malawi. My school is one of the best universities in Malawi. It offers different programs and it's the only one which offers engineering in Malawi. So that's why I chose this program because I'm very much interested in mechanical engineering. Established under an act of parliament in 1997, the University of Malawi was conceived soon after the country gained its independence in 1964. The University of Malawi's vision is to be an academic institution providing relevant world-class education, research and services for sustainable development of Malawi and the world. Scenes from the campus of the University of Malawi. 
Onwards, onwards, round two. The score stands at 30 for Malawi against 150 for Ibadan. We have two new players in centre position. For the University of Ibadan, we have Olatunji, who will just be Tunji for now. The people of Nigeria, tell me more. Yes, the people of Nigeria are rich in culture. I belong to the Yoruba ethnic group that's in the western part of Nigeria, known for their educational culture. And it's also the home of the first university in Nigeria, that's the University of Ibadan, which I represent, which has served for a long years as the intellectual hub of Nigeria. Is that where Wale Shwenka went to university? Yes. Right, OK. I registered that. I know something. Wiyane, <laughs> um, your hometown, what place is it on the map of the world? Well, my hometown is Karonga. It's in the northern part of Malawi, bordering Tanzania. And in Karonga, you find Karonga Museum, which contains um, the remains of the Malawi Saurus. It's a dinosaur that was found in Malawi, in Karonga. And Karonga also, there's newly discovered uranium mines in Kairikera. Yeah, Kairikera mine. That's right. Well, is. I hope that you have a blessing in choosing a choice of category. <laughs> Let's continue taking the Zane Africa Challenge. Have a look at our four new categories, and they are N is for noun, food supply, highs and lows, money in the bank. Uh, N, N is for noun. It is. Which N word names any of the numerous interstellar clouds of gas floating in the universe? Ibad. Nebula. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. What are the only gaseous yeah. elements beginning yeah. with N, yeah. one yeah. common and the other uncommon yeah. in the atmosphere? Neon and nitrogen. That is correct. Bringing your total to 180. Tunji, choice of category, please. N is for now. It is. Which largest two-digit number begins with N and has four Ns in the spelling of its name? Malawi. 99. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, which set in maths that begins with N is a set with no members? No set. Yes, for 20 points. Giving your total to 60. We are in a choice of category, please. N is for now. It is. Which type of acids puts the N in DNA and RNA? Ibadan. Nucleic acids. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which chemical compound beginning with N natural, is one, natural. the addictive drug in tobacco? Nicotine. Correct. And two, the explosive natural part of dynamite? Nitroglycerin. That is correct. For 20 points, bringing your total to 210 against Malawi, 60. Tunji, choice of category, please. Highs and lows. It is. Which continent contains both the highest and the lowest points of land? Malawi. Asia. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, which other continent is the flattest on Earth with its highest point, Mount Kosciusko, at just over 2,200 metres? Australia. Australia. That is correct. For 20 points, bringing your total to 90. We are in a choice of category, please. Highs and lows. It is. Which coastal desert nation of Southern Africa ties Mongolia for the world's lowest population density, two people per square kilometre? Malawi. Namibia. Is correct. And that flash of lightning sound means that you, Wiyane, get to play the Zane Super Bonus for 30 points rather than the usual 20. It's in a special category, which today is former African nations. Please watch your screen. Which letter designates the nation once known as Ubangishari? Your answer, please. You're too late for that one. Bekuana Land. D. Correct. And three, Upper Volta. C. Correct. Giving you 20 points and a total of 120. We are in a choice of category, please. Highs and lows. It is. Da Vinci's La Gioconda, arguably the world's most valuable painting, is better known by which name? Ibad. Mountain. No, I'm turning it over to the Malawi. The Last Supper. No, the correct answer is Mona Lisa. We are in a choice of category, please. Highs and lows. It is. Icarus Pegasus Theseus. Which son of Daedalus in Greek myth flew too high on wax wings that melted, plunging him to his death? Malau. Icarus. Is correct. For 20 bonus points. 10 points apiece. One. Elysium Olympus Tartarus. In Greek myth, which was the lowest pit of Hades where the Titans were confined? Tartarus. Tartarus. Is correct. And two. Which Greek god put them there? Hermes. Hermes. No, the correct answer is Zeus. End of round two. <laughs> the score stands at 140 against 210 for the University of Ibadan, Nigeria.
Now, by way of international introduction, let's place the spotlight on the University of Ibadan in Oyo State in southwestern Nigeria. I chose my school, University of Ibadan, because of my course, Medicine and Surgery, for which it is renowned. The University of Ibadan, founded in 1948, is located in the western part of Nigeria. The University of Ibadan has a wide range of colleges, institutes, centers, and nine faculties in agriculture and forestry, arts, education, law, pharmacy, science, social sciences, technology, and veterinary medicine. It offers a healthy environment for intellectual development, and um, I must say I've enjoyed that in my six years. The University of Ibadan also offers long-distance learning and postgraduate courses. UI's vision is to be a world-class institution for academic excellence, geared towards meeting societal needs by producing graduates who are worthy in character and sound judgment. Best medical school sub-Saharan Africa. I don't think you want anything better than that. <laughs> Scenes from the campus of the University of Ibadan, Nigeria. This is the moment to acknowledge our educational partners, the ministries of education in the competing countries and all the participating universities themselves. Thank you very much for your support. <laughs> onwards, onwards, round three. The score stands at 140 for Malawi against 210 for the University of Ibadan. Nemeka. Yes. Karo? Karo. I got it right. Yeah, Two yeah. syllables. The people of Nigeria. Um, the people of Nigeria, as my teammates have said, are very vibrant. I personally come from the southwestern, southeastern part, the Igbo people, and there you find the most entrepreneurial, driven, and ingenious people in Nigeria, in my opinion. And we have always been a Republican people, and we have produced so many great people, including a pioneer of supercomputing, Philippe Emer Gwali. So I'm proud to be Nigerian. The pioneer of computing, yeah. something I sadly know very little about. Yeah, if it's a yeah. piece of information you'd like to know. Ian? Yes. Malawi, hometown, place on the map of the world. I come from Kasungu. That's in the central region of Malawi. And um, there's a special tree there which inspired our um, founding father, our independence president, Dr. Hastings Samuzubanda, to build the Kamuzu Academy, which at its time was the best high school in Africa. And right now it's amongst the best in Africa. The tree inspired him because he was educated under the tree in a place called Ntuntama, which is near where the Kamuzu Academy is situated. Well, Ian, I can say something to you. I have been to Malawi, and I have seen that tree, and you're about to see our four new categories. <laughs> Let's have a look at our four new categories, and they are... I saw it on the internet. It's a nuclear world, monumental statues. Where in the world? Where in the world? It is. Which African capital city on the Atlantic was founded as a settlement for freed slaves? Ibadan. Free town. It's correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Lagos. Which city wants the national capital? One is still called Echo by the Yoruba. Lagos. That is correct. Two was built on the village of Mzizima by the Sultan of Zanzibar. Zanzibar. No, Dar es Salaam. Memeka, choice of category, please. I saw it on the internet. It is. Which most popular video sharing website uses the slogan broadcast yourself? Ibadan. YouTube. It's correct for 20 bonus points. In 2006, YouTube was purchased for 1.65 billion US dollars by which much larger web company? Google. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 260. Nemeka Joseph Gatteri, please. I saw it on the internet. It is. On which popular social networking website does one post status updates, send pokes, and write wall to wall? Ibadan. Facebook. It's correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. What is the Facebook term for one users whose profiles are linked to yours by invitation? Friends. That is correct. And two, Tagging. identifying someone in a posted photo by adding a special link. Tagging. That is correct. 20 points, bringing your total to 290. Nemeka, choice of category, please. I saw it on the internet. It is. Which name for a process can meet also names unsolicited bulk email messages? Ibadan. Spam. It's correct for 20 bonus points. Which PH word is a form of Fishing. online fraud that acquires a user's information by using fake emails? Fishing. That is correct for 20 points. 
Let me make a choice of category, please. On the internet. It is which African nation's internet users are identifiable by their email address ending in .za? Malawi? Zambia. No, South I'm turning Africa. it over to you, Baden. Correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. By 2008, South Africa had fallen behind two other African nations in number of internet users. Name those West African and North African nations. Nigeria and yes. Egypt. Yes, yes. 20 points, bringing your total to 350. Now make a choice of category, please. It's a nuclear world. It is. The UN Security Council in 2008 imposed sanctions on Iran for enriching which element Iran claims is for its energy program? Ibadan. Uranium. It's correct for 20 bonus points. An alternative to enrich uranium for nuclear weapon is which man-made radioactive metal? Plutonium. It's correct. 20 points, bringing your total to 280. Let me make a choice of category, please. It's a nuclear world. It is. The uranium mines of Niger are an important energy source for the state-owned Arriva Corporation of which European nation? Ibadan. Netherlands. No, I'm turning it over to Malawi. Germany. No, the correct answer is France. Let me make a choice of category, please. Monumental statue. It is. On which copper-clad statue in New York Harbor does a torch signify enlightenment and a tablet represent knowledge? Ibadan. The Statue of Liberty. That is correct for 20 bonus points. 10 points apiece. One, when copper oxidizes, it becomes tarnished, turning which color? Brown. No, it, green. Two, the Statue of Liberty was co-designed by which engineer of a much taller structure in Paris? Bartholdi. No, Gustave Eiffel. Name a choice of category, please. It's a nuclear world. It is. Which country led by Prime Minister Kevin Rudd holds 40% of the world's uranium reserves but refuses to sell any to India? Malawi. Australia. That is correct for 20 bonus points. 10 points apiece. India has not signed the nuclear NPT to limit the spread of atomic weapons, which two words form the abbreviation NPT? And profession treaty. Yes. For 20 points, bringing your total to 170. End of round three. The score stands at 170 for Malawi against 390 for the University of Ibadan. We'll be back to play the ultimate challenge when either team has its last chance to win. But first, here's your chance to play and win the Zane game. This SMS game is open to Zane customers only. The first correct player wins a Zane USB data card with 1,000 Naira airtime. The second correct player wins a 4GB iPod. The third correct player wins a 2GB iPod. The fourth and fifth correct players win vouchers for Zane airtime worth 3,000 Naira. The question for today is, Kainji Lake is formed by a dam on which river? Is it A, Benu, B, Boni? or C, Niger. SMS your answer to 33996. Choose A for Benu, B, Boni, or C, Niger. SMS your answer to 33996. Winners will be called and advised on how to collect their prizes. Happy playing, everybody. Now for the ultimate challenge. One last chance for one of the teams to win. You've got 60 seconds to answer 10 questions as a team in the category of your choice. Speed is of the essence. You can answer or pass on any question. Every correct answer is worth 50 points. If you answer all 10 correctly, each of you will win an extra 500 US dollars in cash. The score stands at 170 Malawi. 390 Ibadan, but it's still anyone's game because the ultimate challenge is worth 500 points. The University of Malawi, you're behind, so you play first. Remember, the ultimate challenge is the ultimate choice. Have a look at our four final categories, and they are 2008 Olympic champions, the Mamas, physics, national symbols. Which is it to be? 2008 Olympic champions. Olympic champs it is. Take a deep breath. Which nation boasts these 2008 Olympic gold medal winners? And seconds away. Yang Wei, gymnastics. China. Yes. Francis Bongo Etone, women's triple jump. Pass. Chris Hoy, cycling. Australia. No. Emma Snowso, women's triathlon. Pass. Usma Luli, swimming. Pass. Sergio Romero, football. Spain. No. Darren Robles, men's hurdles. Pass. K. 
Kirsty Coventry, swimming. Maui. Yes. Chris Paul, basketball. USA. Yes. Pamela Jalimo, women's Kenya. 800. Yes. Francoise Bongo Etone, women's triple jump. Camera. No. Chris Hoy, cycling. China. No. Emma Snowsall, women's triathlon. Australia. Yes. Usma Luli, swimming. Kenya. No. Sergio Romero, football. Portugal. No. Darren Robles, men's hurdles. Pass. Francoise Bongo Etone, women's triple jump. Ethiopia. No. Chris Hoy, cycling. Pass. Yes. Usma Luli, time's up. You answered five questions correctly, giving you 250 points and a grand total of 480. Let's see the ones you got wrong. Etone, Cameroon. Hoy, Great Britain. Usmeluli, Tunisia. Sergio Romero, Argentina. And finally, Deron Robles, Cuba. Right, the University of Ibadan. With 390 points, you are 30 points behind and you need one correct answer in order to win. From our three remaining categories, which is it to be? The mamas. The mamas it is. Take a deep breath, gentlemen. All about the MTV Africa Music Awards. And seconds away, Senegal's lonely singer hey, of I'm on. So Paid. Yes? Nominated Gabonese video, French for us. Us. Wow. Destiny's child member who performed Kelly with... Kelly Yes? Named after Johannesburg. Josie. Ne yes? Wiped nameless. Her daughter Tommy so inspired sweet love. Sita. No? Kyle Keezy's catchphrase, it means crazy. Pass. Crew featuring Necessary Noise and Baby Cool. HHV. No? The golden name for Mama trophies. Pass. South African rockers who won FIFA. Yes? Posthumously honored Mama Kuti. Africa. No? Nominated Gabonese video, French for us. No. Yes? Wife to Nameless, her daughter Tommy so inspired sweet wow. love. Yes? Kyle Keyes' catchphrase. Crew featuring necessary noise and HHP. Baby. No, the golden name for Mama trophies. Pass. Pass. Posthumously honored Mama Africa. Miriam Makeba. Yes. Kyle Keyes' catchphrase, it means crazy. Pass. Time's up. You did not answer one, but seven correctly giving you 350 points and making the University of Ibadan today's winner of the Zayn Africa Challenge with 740 points. <laughs> Let's have a look at the three that you got wrong. Phrase, Abodan, Group, East Africa Bashment Crew, and Trophy, the Golden Microphone. The University of Malawi, you've come a long way. It's time to stop. I'm sure you'll come again in another guise, in another team. We have to say goodbye to you by the rules of the game, sadly. But you'll be taking away 500 US dollars each, plus $5,000 as an institutional grant for your university. The winners, the University of Ibadan, well done, well won. We look forward to seeing you in another round. You're still in the running to take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy and as outright winners, 5,000 US dollars each plus 50,000 US dollars for your university, all courtesy of Zane. In our next game, Njala University from Sierra Leone takes on Mzumbe University from Tanzania in the international, inter-university battle of brains that is the Zane Africa Challenge. Do join us again. From all of us here, it's bye-bye. Till next time.